Today's adventure starts at the meadow. The dwarf mine! <laughs> Catch, Barnaby! To you, Strawberry! To you, Holly! Whoa! Whoa! What was that? I don't know! It was coming from the old dwarf mine! But isn't the dwarf mine empty? Yes, I think so. I can hear voices. Whoa! That was loud. We'd better tell the grown-ups. Wise old elf, there are noises in the mine. The mine? What mine? The old dwarf mine. You're not supposed to be in there. It's dangerous. We weren't in there. We just heard a big buzz. Yes, and the ground shook. Whoa! Like that. Oh, no! The dwarves have woken up. Woken up? Yes, deep inside the mine, the dwarves have been sleeping. They sleep for years and years. Then, when they wake up, they start to dig. What are they digging for? Precious jewels. Gold, diamonds, gemstones. But digging for things doesn't make a big bang noise. It does when the dwarves do it. They carry out big explosions underground. And then dig through the mess. They just dig and dig and dig and dig. Yes, yes, Mrs Elf. They keep digging until they are so tired they fall asleep again. They sleep and sleep and what sleep. What do dwarves look like? They're big. Bigger than us. Yes, dwarves are huge. This is a worrying time. The whole of the little kingdom might get dug up. Holes everywhere. What are we going to do? Just hope. Hope they dig in the other direction. Hope they don't come anywhere near us. Morning, all. Just letting you know there'll be some digging work in this area. Oh, no. We apologise in advance for any inconvenience caused to your journey. Journey? What journey? We're not going anywhere. No? I would if I were you. Look at this hole. Someone could fall in. Hmm. I think we need to talk to King Thistle. The wise old elf to see you, Your Majesty. Hmm? Dwarves, Your Majesty. Dwarves? They're back. No. I'm afraid so. We haven't had a dwarf infestation for years. But now they've woken up. I see. Well, they live underground mostly. Maybe they won't bother us. But they've already dug a hole by the elf tree. It's only one hole. Maybe you can turn it into a pond or something. Your Majesty, you don't understand. This is just the start. The dwarfs will dig up all of the little kingdom. Wise old elf, you worry too much. It will be fine. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I say, do you mind? What's that, mate? You've made a great big hole in my courtyard. Now, pal, don't get upset. Upset? My castle is falling over. Yeah, you want to get that fixed. Now, listen here. I'm the king. Oh, a complaint, is it? You'd better talk to the boss. Right, I will. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Good work, chaps. Dig, Keep it going. Dig, dig. Hello. Dig, I want dig, to speak dig, to the boss. Dig, is he... Hang on a minute. Oi, lads, dig, just pop down a second, OK? Right. You were saying? I want to speak to the boss. I'm the boss. Do you have an appointment? He doesn't need one. He's the king. A king doesn't make appointments. Not even at the hairdressers. Uh. Daddy doesn't have any hair. He's bald. Well, that's not our fault. Look, we want to complain about the noise. What noise? The noise from the mine. Oh, I can't hear anything. That noise. Now, look, I'm the king, and I'm commanding you to stop all the digging. Yeah, the thing is, though, you're only king above the ground, just to the topsoil. 
Below that, I'm the boss. But we can't stop digging anyway. That's what we do. We won't stop until we've found gold and diamonds and gems. I've got an idea. Nanny Plum can magic you up some gold and diamonds and gems. Good thinking, Holly. There we go. Problem solved. Now kindly stop digging. But I can magic up that stuff. Eh? Where's the fun in that? You have to dig for it. Now, if you don't mind, some of us have work to do. Come on, lads. Let's get digging. Well, that could have gone better. Let's go away and come up with another plan. So if no one wants this treasure, can I have it? Yes, yes, take it. Silence, please. Everyone, now, we are gathered here to discuss the dwarf problem. They're making loud bangs. They're digging holes everywhere. They've dug up my carrots. Yes, yes, we all know how annoying they can be. Can't you magic them away? No, fairy magic doesn't work on dwarves. I know how to get rid of the dwarves. We take all this treasure... Aww. ..sneak into the mine and bury the treasure deep down. Oh, and then the dwarves will dig it up and they'll be happy and stop digging. Correct. Excellent plan. All right, Nanny Plum's in charge. Off you go. But it's my plan. OK, you can both be in charge. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I'm in charge, really. We need to bury the treasure deep down in the mine. But how do we get inside? The train! Clever Ben! Wait for me! Dwarf mine, here we come! <laughs> <laughs> wow! How deep is the mine? Deep, very deep. Hold tight, everyone. Oh, no! So old, we dig for diamonds, we dig for gold. Dig, 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 dig. How can we hide the treasure with all the dwarves around? I know, I'm good at voices. This is the dwarf boss. Come on, lads, let's go, go, go. That's brilliant. Now watch this. All right, boys, tea break. Tea break. Okay, boss. <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. Quickly now. Dwarves never stop digging for long. Here they come. Gold! I found gold! There we go. Diamonds! There's diamonds here! Have we found treasure? Yes! Lots of it! Well done, lads. Keep digging. Eh? What do you mean, keep digging? In case there's more treasure, of course. We always dig twice as hard when we find treasure. Oh, no. What are you doing here anyway? This is the dwarf-only area. We put the treasure there for you to find. What? We thought you'd stop digging. We thought you'd be happy. Why? How thoughtful of you. And we thought you'd stop making that racket. Well, I suppose all the noise could be a bit upsetting. Yes, yes it is. And that's why we apologise in advance. Come on, lads, let's get digging. But, but... Ugh, all this digging has made me quite tired. Oh, me too, boss. Oh, oh. I think they're going to sleep. Yes, they've tired themselves out. Night, night, boss. Night, night, lads. Good. Now they'll sleep for years. They'll sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. And then they'll wake up and start digging all over again. Yes, 
They'll dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Plumbing. Ah! Can someone fix this tap? What's wrong, Daddy? I just want to have a bath and the tap is dripping cold water on my toes. That tap's been dripping for ages. Shall I just fix it with magic? No, Nanny Plum! The last time you fixed a tap with magic, you flooded the whole kingdom. Oh, yes, so I did. You need a plumber. Good idea, Ben. Let's call the elf plumber. Hello, is that the elf plumber? Yes, this is the elf plumber. We've got a dripping tap. Ah, taps can be tricky. I'll be right over. OK, thanks. Goodbye. He'll be right over. The elf plumber is here, Your Majesty. That was quick. Good day. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified plumber. Oh, good. Can you fix our tap? Yes. This is bad. Who put this tap in for you? You did. Ah, very good workmanship. You haven't been turning it on and off, have you? A bit, yes. When we use the bath. Ah, well, that's the trouble then. I was going to fix it with magic. No, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Well, can you mend it? Yes. Watch a master plumber at work. And that is how you fix a tap. Amazing! Oh, dear. Can't you just kick it again? Oh, ho, ho. a nice idea, Your Majesty. But I didn't take three years of plumbing school to just kick things. That pipe will have to come out. The whole pipe? I'm afraid so. It'll need digging out. Fine. Do whatever it takes. Just get it fixed. Um, this might be a good time to get out of the bath, Your Majesty. Oh, righto. Everyone stand clear. Hello? Darling sister, how are you? It's my sister, Queen Marigold. Oh, no! Great news. We've just had our castle rebuilt and we want you to come and see it. They want us to go and see their rebuilt castle. Oh, no! A visit to the snooty marigolds. Do we have to go? I'll handle this. King Thistle speaking. I hear you've had your castle rebuilt. Oh, it's very modern. All open plan, don't you know? Lots of space and air. Not like your stuffy old castle. Well, someone's doing up our castle too. He's very good. They're having the little castle done up. Oh, we simply must go and see. We'll be right over, darlings. Toodle pip. There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? Actually, it's just bad news. The marigolds are coming here. Oh, no! It gets worse. I told them someone was doing up the castle for us. Oh, yes? Who's that, then? You! Oh. It's always the same with the marigolds. They're just coming over to laugh at us. Oh, well, I'm sure the wise old elf can do something to make our castle a bit better. Yes, I've got a few ideas already. We can put in plastic windows and add a few garden gnomes. No, no, no! It needs to be super modern. I can do super modern. Concrete, glass, even taps that don't drip. That's more like it. Give me a year and I'll turn this castle into a palace. But the marigolds are coming today! Oh. And they're expecting a modern, open-plan castle. Don't worry, Queen Thistle. I can rebuild your castle. And we can help. Yes! 
darling, why don't you go out for a nice walk and leave it with us? Why do I have to go away? Well, it's like one of those shows you see on the telly where you go away and they do your house up in a day and when you come back, it's lovely. Oh, I see. That sounds nice. Bye. Bye. When you come back, you won't recognise the place. Right. What's the plan? It's a big job. Can we get it done by tonight? Maybe, if we bodge it. What does bodge it mean? It's just a term we use in the building trade. Oh. Right. This wall has got to come out for a start. I suppose you know what you're doing. Don't worry. I always get the building inspector to check my work. Who's the building inspector? Me. But how can you inspect your own work? Oh, I'm very strict. Hmm, let me see now. Having some work done, are you? Ah, uh, yes. Dear, oh dear. Who did this for you? You did. It's very bad work. Very, very bad work. You see, when I'm the building inspector, I'm very strict. Yes, you said your own work was rubbish. Which means it will all have to be redone. This is going to be a much bigger job than I thought. <coughs> Calling all elves. I'll be needing the elf truck, the elf digger and the elf crane. Hello, wise old elf. What's the job? We need to take all this away. All what? All of the castle. Really? Yes. We're going to rebuild it from scratch. Right all. Come on, lads. Let's get cracking. Goodness, what a lot of noise. Take it away. Afternoon, Your Majesty. Ah, yes, um, carry on. That's everything, lads. Off you go. Daddy, they've taken the whole castle away. This is a disaster. Cooey. Oh, no, it's Mummy. Can I take a look now? Uh, only if you close your eyes. Oh, this is fun. Just like those shows on the telly. Can I open my eyes now? I wouldn't. Tell me when I can. Uh, in about a month. Oh! Where's our home gone? Uh, well... What do you think the marigolds will say when they see this? They'll laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> Darling sister. Oh, my word. Oh, I say. It isn't quite how we expected it to be. I don't know what to say. It's, uh, not finished yet. It's incredible. Amazing. We went for high ceilings. You went for no ceilings at all. And look at the toilet. Yes, completely open plan. It's so adventurous. Well, it was all mostly my idea. King Thistle, old boy, you're a born architect. Have you considered teaching architecture? Oh, I don't know. We must do this with our castle. Come on, darling. No time to lose. Sorry, we can't stay. Bye. 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 <laughs> Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? Only because the marigolds are completely bonkers. <laughs> I want my home back. Nanny, magic the castle back, please. OK, but it'll have to be a very big spell. Thunder and lightning, blow, wind, blow. Back as it was, home sweet home. Ah, oh, that's better. My home is back. It's just how it was before. It's better than it was before. How? All that magic I used has also fixed the tap. Oh, well done, Nanny. I have to say, I'm impressed. Not one drip. Let's turn it on. <laughs> There's a fountain coming out of the toilet. 
toilet. There's a waterfall coming out of the sink. And rain coming out of the ceiling. Oh, dear. Maybe I shouldn't have done such a big spell. Like I said, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Today's adventure starts at Mrs. Witch's house. Mrs. Witch's spring clean. Mrs. Witch, are you in? Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. What are you doing here? I'm here to spring clean your cottage. And these are my helpers, Ben and Holly. Hello, hello Mrs. Mrs. Witch. Right, spring clean time. Uh oh. Goodness me! What a mess! Yes, I'm a terrible one for keeping things. I just can't throw anything away. Never mind. I'll throw things away for you. It, yes, the problem is everything in here is magical and dangerous. So someone has to look after it. What? Even this dishcloth? That's a little magic carpet from a magic doll's house. Well, where is this doll's house? Uh, I'm not sure. So you don't need it then, do you? What about this old mirror? That's my magic mirror. Hmm. What's this? That's my magic lamp. There's a genie in it, you know. Of course there is. Oh, dear. I'm not sure I want to spring clean. Ugh, what's this horrid stuff? My slug jam. Slug jam? We'll get rid of that for you. Good. Job done. Uh, thanks. You're really very kind. Nanny Plum, are these things really magical? No. It's just a load of old junk. Now, we've got to get rid of it all, starting with the slug jam. Slug jam? Ugh, disgusting. Nobody would want to eat that. I know. I'll put it safely at the back of the cupboard where no one can find it. I wonder if Mummy would like this mirror. My mum might like this pretty lamp. And maybe someone would want the old carpet. It'd have to be someone with very bad taste. That's a nice carpet. Mrs Witch is throwing it away. Oh, it's not magical, is it? No, Nanny Plum said it's just junk. Do you want it? Yes, I would like it. Thank you. Ah, very nice. Very cosy. Beautiful blue sea and golden sand. It's a tropical paradise. A tropical paradise? I wish I was there. Ah! It is a magic carpet. Whoa! 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 Now listen here, you naughty magic carpet. Take me back at once. Whoa! Hello, Daddy. I've got a present for Mummy. Oh. Where is Mummy? She's been locked in the bathroom for ages getting ready to go out. And I'm hungry. Here I am. You look lovely, Mummy. I've got something for you. Oh, thank you, my dear. It's a magic mirror. Mrs Witch didn't want it anymore. So, what does the magic mirror do? I tell the truth. Oh, how exciting. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? You are, Queen Thistle. Oh, how wonderful. Well, you normally are the fairest of them all. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a bit of a bad hair day today, isn't it? Oh, dear. Now I'll have to start all over again. <laughs> what did you say that for? Just telling the truth, Your Majesty. Now we'll be eating even later, and I'm starving. Hello, Mum. I've got a present for you. Mrs Witch had a spring clean and she threw this out. A lamp. Isn't it nice? Oh, lovely. Very brassy. I'll just give it a polish. I am the genie of the lamp. Oh, oh. he's very manly. Yeah. <laughs> I will grant you three wishes. What should we wish for? Why don't you dance for us? <laughs> Your wish is my command. 
I wish for loud music. Very well. <laughs> I wish we had a big party with all of us dancing. That is your third and final wish. But you have used up your three wishes. Bye-bye. Oh, no. I don't want to dance forever. Let's go and see King Thistle. He can sort it out. How are you doing in there, darling? I'm hungry. I'm ready. Mummy, you look super. Uh, yes, you look lovely. Right, let's go eat. I'll just ask the mirror what it thinks. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, how does my hair look now? Honestly, not good. Oh, dear. I don't know what to do. Let me help. I am a magic mirror, after all. Oh! There you go. Sorted. That's horrid. Change my hair back. No, it looks great. King Vessel, do something. Nobody will notice your hair. Come on, let's go to dinner. No, no. I can't go out like this. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to get a snack. Now then, what would be a lovely, tasty snack? Aha! Why does Nanny always put the best stuff at the back of the cupboard? Mmm! Jam! Help! Help! What on earth is that awful racket? Pink Thistle! Pink Thistle! I wish for a big party and now I can't stop Oh, really? It was a genie from the witch's old lamp. Please help us, King Thistle. Witch's magic, eh? I can't help. Fairy magic doesn't work on witch's magic. Sorry and all that. Ah! Wise old elf. What are you doing up there? This witch's carpet just flew me off to a tropical paradise. Ah! Well, just keep the noise down. There's a good fellow. My hair. My hair. The mirror has made it even worse. I don't think I can stand much more dancing. How do I stop this thing? Well, if you will all play around with witch's magic. <laughs> <sighs> That's the most disgusting thing I've ever... Uh, Daddy, where did you get that jam? From the back of Nanny's cupboard. <gasps> You've just eaten the witch's slug jam. And it's a bit worse than that. It's magic slug jam. Oh, no! What's going to happen to me now? Um, you might change into a <laughs> slug. This is outrageous! Magic mirrors, flying carpets, magic lamps, slug jam. Mrs Witch can jolly well take all this stuff back. Mrs Witch! Mrs Witch! Oh, Hello, King Thistle. I see you tried my slug jam. Ah, uh, yes. Could you turn me back into myself, please? Don't you like being a slug? It's delightful. I just feel a bit, uh, sticky. Oh, very well. Ah, oh, that's better. Mrs Witch, can you stop us dancing? Of course. And can you magic my hair back to normal? My pleasure. And would you mind taking all this stuff back? I don't want it. Eh? Hey, what? Throwing out all those old things made me realise I needed a proper spring clean. Anyone want a magic saucepan? Now what do we do? All this stuff is too dangerous to just leave lying around. Hmm. This is King's work. Gosh, what have you done to your house? What do you mean? I really liked it how you had it before. Much more witchy. Oh. This lamp would look really good here. That's where I had it. This slug jam would look nice here. That's where it's always lived. The carpet here and the mirror here. Just where I had them. You really have got good taste, Mrs Witch. That's why you've got such a nice little house. Oh, thank you. You're a lovely man. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. Goodbye, Mrs Witch. Goodbye, everyone. 
Thanks for all your help. Daddy, did you really think that Mrs Witch's house was nicer with all that stuff in it? No, it was a big smelly mess. Why didn't you say so then? There's a time for telling someone their house is a big smelly mess and a time for being just nice. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Tooth Fairy! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough playing for one day. It's time for Ben to go home. Aww, can we play a little bit longer? No, Holly, it's your bedtime. Is it your bedtime too, Nanny Plum? Goodness me, no. I have to work all night. You have to work all night? I'm a tooth fairy. You're a tooth fairy? Yes. When a child loses a baby tooth, they put it under the pillow before going to sleep. Then I take it away and leave a coin in its place. Wow! When your tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The Tooth Fairy! Ooh, exciting! I have to collect a little girl's tooth tonight. Can we come with you, Nanny? Hmm, only if you're very quiet. We mustn't wake the little girl up. We can be quiet, can't we, Ben? Elves are very good at being quiet. And I'm an elf! <coughs> Shush! Dear me! This is why there are no tooth elves, only tooth fairies. It's very late to be making so much noise. Shouldn't you be getting home, Ben? We want to see Nanny be the tooth fairy. But you've got school tomorrow, Holly. It's the school holidays. But it's very dark outside. Princess Holly could do with some night flying practice. But being a tooth fairy can be very dangerous work. We'll be very careful. But please can we go? OK, as long as you stay close to Nanny. Hooray! When your tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The, the Tooth Fairy! fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Nanny, why did Mummy say being a Tooth Fairy was dangerous? There are lots of things you need to be careful of when you're flying at night. Like what? Ah! Cobwebs, for instance. Good evening, Madam Spider. Sorry for damaging your web, but the young elf isn't very experienced at night flying. <laughs> you. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Nanny Plum. Nanny, what else do we have to look out for? <laughs> Windows. Where did that come from? Well done, Holly. You found the little girl's house. And that's the little girl. She doesn't look very little. Wow, look at that big girl. Shush, she's also got big ears to hear us with. So be very quiet. Follow me. <gasps> she's very pretty. Not too close, Princess Holly. Oh, her breath is pulling me in. Beat your wings! <laughs> As I said, we must be very careful. This is the tricky bit. I have to get the tooth from under the pillow without waking the little girl. How? <clears throat> Gently pillow up, up, up. Wow! There it is. <laughs> It's stuck. One, two, three, pull! Oh, thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, the little girl's written us a letter. What a nuisance. I love getting letters. But the children always want a reply. Now we'll have to come back again. Can I read it? Dear Tooth Fairy, what is it like to live in Fairyland? Fairyland. That makes it sound like some silly make-believe place. Did she ask about elves? Um, no, Ben. Maybe there wasn't enough room on the paper. But she does say, love from Lucy. That's a lovely name. Shush. 
Remember, Princess Holly, we mustn't wake her. Nanny, what happens to the tooth now? We give it to the elves. They take care of the rest. This way. Hopefully, there'll be no one there. Then we can just leave our tooth and go. Good evening. Can I help you? Oh, hello. Tooth delivery. Have you filled in your tooth report? Yes. There appear to be some details missing. Where was the tooth found? Ugh, under the pillow. Under the pillow. Dear me, you haven't even put the little girl's name. We know that. Her name is Lucy. Lucy. And she's written us a letter. Ah, a letter. There'll have to be a reply before morning. Oh. I'll write it. Dear Lucy, um, it's very nice in the Little Kingdom. There are lots of fairies. And elves. OK, Ben. And there are lots of elves too. Love, Princess Holly. And Ben Elf. And Ben Elf. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Now we've got to take it back. We'll have to be quick. It's almost morning. Someone's coming. Hide under the bed. That must be Lucy's mummy. Oh no! The window's shut. How will we get out? This is elf work. Elves are good at opening windows and I'm an elf. <gasps> Stop, Ben. You'll wake Lucy. Sorry. <sighs> hmm. I think we're going to need more than one elf. <sighs> I'll ring for more elves. Oh, where can I get a signal on my phone? Don't stand too close, Ben. Ah! Help! Uh, what did Nanny say? Oh, yes. Beat your wings. But I'm an elf. I don't have wings. OK, um, flap your arms. Uh... Hello. <gasps> You're meant to be asleep. You're not supposed to see us. Who are you? Uh, I'm Holly. I'm a fairy princess. A real fairy princess with wings and a wand and everything. <laughs> yes. And this is Ben. He's an elf. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Oh, I wrote you a letter. Thank you. Oh, it's so little. It's a terrible signal. Wise old elf? Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm. I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're, we're elves! No! <laughs> This is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're too noisy. Are you all right, Lucy? We heard a noise. It's OK. She's asleep. You can come out now. Phew! Bye, Lucy. See, See you again. again. Bye, Ben and Holly. Um, can we have 
a lift. I'm a bit too tired to fly. Up aboard. <laughs> that was fun. When your tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The Tooth Fairy! <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Nanny's magic test. Keep up, children. We don't want to be late for your magic test. Nanny Plum, why do we have to take a magic test? All fairies take a magic test. It's how you get your magic licence. This is mine. Ooh, will ours look like that? No, this is a grown-up licence. You'll be getting a children's licence. Who gives us the magic test? The elves do. But elves don't like magic. No, but we do make the wands. <laughs> <laughs> and elves do like tests. Good morning, everyone. Have you come for your magic test? Yes, yes Mrs. Mrs Elf. Until the test is finished, I am not Mrs Elf. I am Mrs Examiner. Yes, Mrs Examiner. Lift up these pebbles, please. Move them forwards. This is hard. Yes. Now backwards. When I clap my hands, stop. Excellent. And finally, one simple question. Magic must only be used for serious things or just for fun. Um, uh, is the answer. Magic must only be used for serious things. Correct. You've all passed the magic test. Hooray! And I'm Mrs Elf again. You may now hug me. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everyone. Here are your licences, signed by me, the Chief Examiner. I knew they'd pass because I taught them. That makes their success even more amazing. Thank you, wise old elf. Perhaps we should have a little celebration. Oh, yes. Can we have a party? And what every party needs is magic jelly. Uh, Nanny, I don't think that's such magic a... Magic jelly. Lots and lots. Daisy, used a bit too much magic there. Nanny Palum, do you even have a magic license? Of course I do. Oh dear, it's expired. What does that mean? It means it's worthless. Can't I do magic then? No, it's against the law. No grown up fairy can do magic without a license. What? I'm taking away your wand. You can't do that. I just did. It's an outrage. The king will be very angry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. You're right. It's not funny. <laughs> Nanny does not have a license. She must not do magic. Yes, yes, wise old elf. But maybe we could overlook it just this once, as it's Nanny. It's because it is Nanny. We shouldn't overlook it. She's dangerous. Wise old elf, I am your king and I must... Yes? Is your license up to date, Your Majesty? My license? Well, I'm sure. I mean, I... I, I Maybe I should take a look. Uh, no need for that. The wise old elf is right, Nanny Plum. Rules are rules. What? So I can never do magic again? Of course you can. Uh, can she? She will have to go back to magic school first. Magic school? Yes, Mrs Fig's magic school. Oh. Hello, Figgy. My name is Mrs Fig. You remember me, don't you? How could I forget? In all my years of teaching, I never had another pupil like you. Thank you. I was her best pupil. The wise old elf has taken away Nanny Plum's wand. Very sensible. And he has sent her back to your magic school. What? Yes, I'm back, you lucky old thing. Good luck, Nanny. Oh, I'm the one that'll need the luck. The first thing to know about magic is magic always leads to trouble. 
So, for our first lesson, you will not have a real wand. You will have this stick. What does it do? Nothing. Oh, why can't I have a real wand? You need to learn how to use magic sensibly. But I use magic for lots of sensible things. Like ironing the king's underpants or dusting the fridge or polishing the carpets or... Miss Plum, I am the teacher. If you want to pass your magic test, I suggest you start listening to me. Let's see how you hold your wand. No, 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 all wrong. You're making magic, not stirring soup. Is that better? It'll do for the moment. Now, a few questions. Can't we do a spell instead? How do you stop a squirrel nesting on your roof? Uh, turn them into a frog. How do you get a mouse out of your kitchen? Uh, turn them into a frog. How do you rescue an elf who is stuck up a tree? Oh, I know this one. Turn them into a frog. Is that your answer to everything, Nanny Plum? Turn them into a frog? Yes. Oh, dearie me. This is going to be a long day. How was your lesson today, Nanny? Really good. I got a couple of things wrong at the start, but I got better and better all day. That's great. I'm all ready for my test tomorrow. Ask me any question you like. OK. How do you stop a mole from digging up your lawn? Turn them into a frog. Uh, no. That's not the answer in the book. Are you sure? Maybe you're reading it wrong. I don't think so. Oh, I find the answer to most things is turn them into a frog. Nanny, don't keep saying turn them into a frog. That will never be the answer. Oh, all right. I'll try and remember that. Morning, Nanny Plum. Have you come to take your magic test? Yes, Mrs Elf. Until the test is finished, I am not Mrs Elf. I am Mrs Examiner. Right you are, Mrs Elf. I'll take this one. Yes, Mr Chief Examiner. But that's not fair. I thought I was going to have Mrs Elf. Quiet, please. The test has begun. Here is your wand back. Oh, nice to see you again. Please lift this rock up in the air. But it's really big. I know. Can't I use a pebble? The pebbles are for the children's test. Why can't I take the children's test? Because you're a grown-up, or you're supposed to be. Ugh, all right. <laughs> there. Mm-hmm. Now, forwards, please. Ah! <gasps> Whose rock is that? It belongs to the wise old elf. Just be careful. OK. Reverse, please. Slowly. Ah! What's happened to my castle? The wise old elf told me to do it. Sorry, Your Majesty. Now forwards again. And when I clap my hands, you must stop. No problemo. Stop. Stop! 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 <gasps> Whew. Oh, bring the rock back here. Now, I want you to magic this rock into something else. A frog? No. I can do frogs. An egg. What do you want an egg for? Oh, just do it, please. All right. Keep your hair on. <laughs> I said an egg, not a chicken. There, one egg. Did I pass? The practical test is over, but you still have to answer one question. How would you help a tadpole become a grown-up? Uh, to help a tadpole become a grown-up? Um, uh... Danny, what's your favourite spell? Turn them into a frog? Correct. I knew it! The test is over and it's bad news. Did I fail? It's worse than that. You passed. Hooray! You may now do magic again. Did you hear that wand? We're back in business. 
Oh, dear. Magic always leads to trouble. No, it doesn't. Show me one piece of sensible magic. OK. There's one piece of magic I've been wanting to do all day. What's that? Turn you into a frog. You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Here's my licence. Oh, dear. Frog time! Like I said, magic always leads to trouble. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Elf school. Now, Princess Holly, what's the name of this flower? That's easy, Nanny. It's a daisy. Yes, yes. An elf might call it a daisy, but a fairy princess would call it a Bellis per Ennius. <sighs> Bellis per Ennius. Correct. Now, what is this bluebell called? A uh, bluebell? Oh, no, no, no. A fairy princess would call it a hyacinthoids non scripta. <sighs> Oh, Nanny, nature class is so boring. Why do I have to learn the proper names of all these flowers? That is the sort of thing a fairy princess needs to know. Well, maybe I don't want to be a fairy princess. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Where are you going? I'm off to elf school. Oh, what do you do at elf school? We learn how to make toys. That sounds fun. It is. Elves love making toys. And I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make toys. Nanny, can I go to elf school too? But you're not an elf. You're a royal fairy princess. Oh, please, Nanny Plum. Please, Nanny Plum, let Holly come. Oh, OK. Hooray! <laughs> But I'll come along too, just to make sure you don't get into any mischief. OK, but hurry, we can't be late for elf school. <laughs> We're going to elf school. We're going to elf school. <laughs> We're going, going to, to elf school. school. We're going, going to, to elf school. We're going to elf school. We're going to elf school. <laughs> come on. Elf school is at the top of the tree. Ooh! Good morning, boys and girls. Good, Good morning, morning, wise old elf. Ahem. <laughs> ah, Nanny Plum. Hello, Mr Old Elf. Hello. Princess Holly wants to see what elves get up to in your little school. Hmm. Very well. Holly may join the class. Oh, goody. <laughs> but no magic or flying, please. OK. Holly, sit next to me. <laughs> <clears throat> no flying. You will kindly walk. Flying is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't fly. <clears throat> That's right, Mistress Palum. Elves cannot fly, but we do have very good hearing. <laughs> <laughs> and elves are very good at making toys. So, today, we are going to make toys. Hooray! We will carry on from where we left off last time. I'm making a toy car. I'm making a toy duck. A toy helicopter. A toy boat. I'm making a toy frog. A toy rabbit. I'm making a robot. Ooh. I see that Miss Holly does not have a toy. That's OK. I'll magic one. Zing, zang, zingy, zoi. Magic me a little toy. <gasps> Miss Holly, magic is not allowed at elf school. 
Only because elves can't do magic. <laughs> elves could do magic if they wanted to, but elves don't do magic. And we're elves! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Holly, uh, you can work on this toy owl for today. Thank you, wise old elf. And I will take this wand for now so that you learn how to work the proper elf way without magic. Oh. Don't worry. You can have it back at the end of the class. Boys and girls, take out your hammers. And remember to tap gently. Oh, no! I didn't mean to do that. Don't worry, Holly. I'll fix it. I've still got my magic wand. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed at elf school. Oh, it'll be all right. No one will notice. Nick knack now, mend this owl. What was that loud bang? Uh, I think there's a bit of a storm brewing outside. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as long as there's no magic going on... I assure you, Mr Old Elf, Princess Holly is not using magic. Naughty Nanny Plum. Oh, shush. Now it's time to paint our toys. Remember, be very careful. <laughs> a little paint goes a long, long way. Doing things without magic is very hard. Maybe you need just a teeny tiny bit of magic. Oh, are you sure? Trust me. <clears throat> Zigzag Zoe, paint this toy. Miss Holly, are you doing magic? <coughs> no, wise old elf, not me. Uh, I think it's just the storm outside. It must be really close now. <laughs> hmm. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. Doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <laughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly. Let's see what your owl can do. Oh, uh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. <laughs> Should do it. Hooray! Thank you, Ben. I did try to do it the elf way. Yes, Holly. I know you did. 
But it's not easy to make toys without using magic. It's easy for us because we're elves. <laughs> <laughs> now, Holly, here's your wand back. Thank you. And remember, no magic until you have left the classroom. Yes, wise old elf. And that goes for you too, Nanny Palum. Yes, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>